Hello, my name is Gabriela Godinez Laverty and I am CEO of Mexican Corn Products. Welcome to our channel. Uh, we will be doing a series of uh, different recipes that are authentic from the area that I was born in. Uh, the area is Jalisco, the state is Jalisco, and I am from Guadalajara, the city of Guadalajara. And uh, these recipes are really traditional from my region and from my family as well. Um, so today we will start with a recipe that is very popular everywhere, it's uh, the guacamole recipe. In our um, tradition, we use avocados that are called avocado has, that is the kind of avocados we use. In order to be able to choose the best avocados, you have to make sure that when you squeeze them, they are somehow soft, but not too, too soft because that will mean that they are rotten. So when you squeeze them, they should be soft, but not, not too, too soft. Um, then we will use the white onion. That's the traditional onion we use. Um, you can use serrano chiles, or these ones are like a kind of serrano chiles, they are the Thai, uh, Thai chiles. These ones are very, very, could be very spicy. So depending on the level of spiciness that you want, do not put uh, too many. Normally with one or two, you will have a good amount of spice for three avocados. Then we will use cilantro, lime, and salt. It is a very basic recipe, and this is a, the traditional way we do it. So we will start by cutting the avocados half, like this. As you can see, the avocado is soft but, and bright, but it's not too, too loose. Normally the color is brown in the outside and that tells you that it's ripe. And also you can see by the color of the inside of the avocado that is in the right, in the right um, ripeness. Then I will be scooping the avocado out of the skin like this. You can leave the, the avocado um, sits inside the dish. Some people like to leave that. Supposedly it gives a it makes the, the avocado, the guacamole, not to, to, to get bad. I'm not sure if that is true, but we will just leave it just for for decoration too. So we will, we get all of it out. Again, this is the way we do it traditionally in my family and in a lot of households in Mexico. I will tell you that. Not for these ones. scooped out we will squeeze approximately one line if it's very big sometimes you can get away with just half of it try it if you find it too sour you can just put a half of it I will just leave it in, in just a one half then we will be chopping finely some white onion it is very important to have your onion very finely, finely chopped. Otherwise, so otherwise you will have big chunks of onion in there. It's not nice. Uh, onion I think with a quarter of the, of the big onion it will be sufficient it's a very strong flavor onion too so if you don't like it to have too much of the flavor of the onion just take a, a hint of it just put a quarter of the, of the onion there put it in there and then we will have 
a small bunch of cilantro. Cilantro is very important for the flavoring, of course, and you want it to be as fresh as possible. If it has, you know, uh, branches that are a little bit brown or, or past, you can just scoop them out and put them in there. Again, the, the cilantro, I don't like it too, too, too short because you kind of, it's kind of nice to have a little bit of the leaves in the, in the volcano there. one of the Thai chilies because as I said I don't want it to be too too spicy so again you just do it in a very chop it in a very fine way many times what makes it very spicy is the seeds. So if you wanted to have it less spicy, take the seeds off the, the, uh, the chili there and it will make it less spicy. After that, you just put a pinch of salt and with a fork, you will just mix it in and mash it like this. By mashing it this way, we have all the flavors in there. Just combine it fully. Until it's really, really mixed. If you like it chunkier, I mean, you just you just do it less of the uh, this process, but I like it a bit lighter in. And voila, you have the delicious dish. I will just put it in a nice plate where you can serve it. As I said, sometimes people like to leave the avocado seed in the middle there just to keep it fresh. Now to serve, uh, be sure that you use our delicious tortilla chips, Los Cantores tortilla chips. We have a different flavors and presentations. This one is, uh, I'm choosing the uh, refried beans. Uh, these ones have real beans in it. It's not a flavoring, it's the actual beans with the tortilla chips. So it has a delicious taste that will bring a very nice complement to our guacamole. You can find those in different stores around Canada, actually mostly in Ontario and Quebec and um, you can buy directly online as well at loscantores.com For now it's just available in Canada but very soon we were hoping to get them as well in the US. So you can put your tortilla chips so here we go, there is our delicious avocado, uh, sorry, guacamole, with the delicious tortilla chips of Los Cantores. Again, you can find us online at www.loscantores.com. You can find us on Instagram and Facebook at Los Cantores Chips. And if you want to follow our channel for more recipes and ideas, you can do so, uh, we will be uploading many videos of authentic Mexican recipes that go amazingly with our tortilla chips. Thank you for watching and subscribe.